This is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. I hope you're having a fantastic day. In this video, I talk about black and white photography. Yes, on this esoteric channel, I'm going to be talking about black and white photography. I've been uh, taking photographs uh, in black and white since 1963 when I first bought my uh, camera back when I was 11 years old from the San Jose flea market. I used roll film that was black and white and processed it and printed it into black and white uh, prints. That was way back when and I continued processing black and white up till uh, the millennium, okay, until 2000, okay. So I have a long 40-year history uh, producing photographs uh, in black and white. I really enjoyed uh, working in chemicals, but there are some drawbacks, of course, to using chemistry. But uh, uh, we're now in the digital age. I didn't first pick up a digital camera until about 1999. That's when I first uh, started taking photographs with a digital camera. So who are my main influences in black and white? There are quite a few. There's a, I'm going to talk about only three. I'm going to keep this video short. First of all, let's talk about somebody from the San Francisco Bay Area. Uh, Ansel Adams. Ansel Adams is uh, probably the most uh, prominent uh, landscape photographer uh, in the United States of America and he's uh, had a tremendous influence in San Francisco Bay Area photography uh, again coming from the San Francisco Bay Area and living in Carmel. So I really like his photographs. Here's an example of one of his photographs for you to enjoy. Again his landscapes are absolutely superior. Typically he shot it with an 8 by 10 inch view camera. Again, you can't get better than that. Another photographer I really liked from the San Francisco Bay Area was Edward Weston. Uh, he, he was also a member of the F64 group of Carmel and his photographs. Here's an example of one of his photographs. Hope you like it. Another photographer I really, really admired uh, and he had a, an exhibition called uh, Into the American West. I don't know if I pronounced that right. But it was funded by a gallery here in Fort Worth. The Eamon Carter paid for his uh, uh, excursion into the American West and capturing photographs. Again, with what kind of camera? An 8x10 film camera. A sheet film camera. And his photographs, here's an example. I really love his photographs. And once in a while, at the Eamon Carter, they show his uh, work. But his work has been, uh, from this series, has been exhibited all over uh, the world and has been published in books. It's an amazing series. One of my favorite international photographers is uh, Hiroshi Sugimoto. He's uh, from uh, Japan. He's an architect by uh, trade, uh, but he's an, a tremendous photographer. His uh, technical prowess is unsurpassed. He shoots interiors of buildings and also once in a while an exterior, you know, oceanscapes. His series of photographs on the oceans and also from theaters is totally amazing. Rather esoteric, but totally amazing. Here's an example of one of his uh, photographs. So I really like black and white photographs. In fact, this video is in black and white, just as an homage to uh, the old days of shooting black and white. What do you think of black and white? Do you plan to shoot some black and white in the future? Why not? Uh, it's always nice to do something that's a little bit more aesthetic, I feel, than color. You know, there are some color photographs that are incredibly valuable, but also some black and white, too. So this has been Jesus Manuel Managarza on black and white photography. I really enjoy uh, working in black and white. When I have an exhibition in uh, you know, Mexico or in Europe or in the United States from coast to coast or when I give a lecture, primarily most of my images are what? They are black and white. I really love black and white photography. From Fort Worth, Texas, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much and don't forget to ring the little bell here's a little bell uh, for future notifications of my videos i'd like to thank you for watching my video gracias adios bye bye